Bartender is a $17 app that allows you to manage your Mac's menu bar icons. What I mean by that is if you've been using your Mac for quite some time now, if you've been installing apps, you'll start to notice the bar at the top here, it starts to fill up. Bartender allows you to group these apps, or the icons, and put them in its own little menu. Notice the three little dots. Once I click that, it brings up the Bartender menu. I can manage what icons go in here, and I can even hide them completely. It works really well, and it's an app that I use every single day. It launches on startup, or you can launch it yourself, and it manages all of these things in here. So I have things like the volume meter, which I don't really use um, by doing the, by going up to the menu. I normally just use the key combinations. I can hide that in Bartender, or I can hide it completely. Um, other things like the Dropbox or Google Drive indicator. I don't really need to know they're going because I can tell usually when I've uploaded something. Um, things like that. Bartender's main interface looks like this. The preference panel looks like this. And I can go ahead and just change from three options. I can have it do nothing. I can have it show in the Bartender bar. Or I can completely hide the icon. So let's go ahead and show you hide the icon. Before I click, notice the clock on the top right corner. And now it's gone. If I change it to show it only in Bartender, it'll show the clock in Bartender. However, I like the clock where it is, so I'm going to go put it back. If I scroll down here, I can choose what apps I want in Bartender just by hitting them individually and changing their value. Um, I can have it show for five seconds, um, things like that, or I can change it from a few values there if I'm using the app constantly, the app icon. Another few things you can change, you can have it launch on startup, you can show the bartender bar um, all the time. The bartender bar does hover, so if I click on it, it will stay there along with other icons, so let's go ahead and try that. If I click away, it's still going to be there, but it sits on top of other windows. You can just then close it back again. Other things are the icon itself. You can select your own little icon to go in there. However, it does need to be a certain size in order to actually look good, because it's only a few pixels up there. Um, I can have it a box. I can have it a little man, which is the actual logo. Another thing I can set to have a hotkey, so I can have a hotkey which brings up the bartender menu, but I prefer to just have it as a clickable icon. So that's bartender. It's that's how much it is. Sixteen dollars sixty-one cents Australian dollars. So that's probably sixteen dollars American or something like that. Um, that's bartender. It's one of my favorite apps on the Mac. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this, please thumb it up and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a nice day.